welcome to Das Geek. This week, something hit in the news that I think you're going to find fascinating, especially those who've been on this journey with me of filling your brains about privacy and security, how to be more private, how to be more secure, and make sure your stuff don't get jacked or hacked. And one of the things that we've talked about in these videos is the importance of two-factor authentication. But one of the cautions that I've given is to not use text-based or SMS-based two-factor authentications. Instead, use something like a YubiKey or use a third-party app like Bitwarden. Go to bitwarden.com slash DLN. That's the password manager that I trust. But they have a two-factor authentication, a one-time password, time-based one-time password option built into Bitwarden as well. Or you could use something like Aegis, A-E-G-I-S, which has a is a really good non-cloud-based service that allows you to uh, back up but have two-factor authentication as well. Some people use Authy. Some people use Google Authenticator, although that's not my favorite option to use anything Google-related because, you know, reasons. Uh, but the interesting thing that hit in the news talked about why you don't want to use SMS-based two-factor authentication. And one of the reasons I've given in the past is because your phone number can get spoofed. People all the time spend all day trying to get individuals' information, and then they call a cell phone carrier and hope they can find a weak link to get them to do a SIM swap or something else so that they can get a hold of any text messages and things that you have on your device. And so this can be very dangerous. Do not do text-based two-factor authentication. But another reason has popped up in the news, and it's related to Twitter, and that's what we're going to take a look at right now. So the news article mentions here, Twitter two-factor authentication, 2FA, text service was secretly helping governments locate people and obtain call logs. The co-founder of a Twitter 2FA text service is reported to have been secretly selling access to its networks, to governments, enabling them to locate people of interest, and in some cases, even obtain their phone logs here. So what happened is Twitter used a third-party company to handle sending the two-factor authentication text messages for their on their customer's behalf or any notification messages on their customer's behalf. And what this company was doing to make some extra money, I'm assuming, is selling this data to governments or giving this data, maybe they weren't selling it, giving this data to governments and other parties so that they could track targets of interest. And we know through all of the stories and things that have broken, all the whistleblowing, how these programs, you can say, oh, they're probably tracking somebody really bad. We know the mass surveillance and things that's happening out there and that this could be things that are impacting you. You could be caught up in these mass sweeps of logs and stuff. And so it's something that you really need to take into consideration. So not only should you not be using SMS two-factor authentication for any services because of the spoofing capabilities of your cell phone, but now because when they're utilizing services like this here, they're also potentially selling or giving away your data to other entities there. Now, Twitter is supposedly cutting ties with this company, but haven't cut ties fully yet. But this just shows you the dangers of this. So I wanted to take you in to Twitter here and you could see my account. My first reaction when I saw this was I'm just going to get delete Twitter. And I'm, I'm really close to just getting rid of Twitter. I got 5,000 or so of you followers out there on my Twitter account. But follow me on Mastodon. If I can get all those people moved from Twitter to Mastodon, which is a decentralized, much better version of Twitter anyways, please check me out there. I'll have a link in the show notes that will have my link to Mastodon. But I'd love to move to that as a primary platform. But here you can see your options for two-factor authentication. You can do the text message or you can do an authentication app. Now, if you want to use Bitwarden, which is the greatest password manager out there, if you go to bitwarden.com slash DLN again, you can sign up for free. They have a $10 a year. You can have their premium account. I use Bitwarden for everything. I used them well before they were sponsored, by the way. This isn't a sponsored video. I mean, they sponsor me. But this video isn't just sponsored by Bitwarden. I just use them for everything. So that's why I'm showing you this, that you can use this time-based one-time password, TOTP, here. Now, if you click Authentication app, it's going to come up with the QR bar. But underneath it, it will say, hey, if you don't have an option to scan a photo, click here, and it will give you a code, a long sentence with a bunch of random characters. You would paste that into this time-based one-time uh, password field, and then you would hit save, and it will give you, it will cycle, just like any other two-factor app, a random number that you would use to type in to log in as your two-factor authentication. 
or you could use something like a security key. And again, that would be for YubiKey users and things like that out there, I believe, although I've never tied my uh, Twitter account to that. I use an authentication app. The authentication app that I use, sometimes I'll use Bitwarden if it's something that if somebody broke into, not a big deal, but I like to have a separate two-factor authentication app as well, just to increase that security. So if I did something dumb and somebody was able to get into my Bitwarden account, at least I know my two-factor authentication for the important stuff is somewhere else. And the app that I like to use is Aegis, I think it's pronounced, A-E-G-I-S. I think this is a really, really good service. It's free, it's secure, it's open source. This is for Android. If you're on Apple, I think there's free OTP as an option there, which is also open source. I believe it was originally developed by Red Hat. And you could also use something like Authy if you want as well. But basically you need another two-factor authentication besides text message. If you get any of your two-factor authentication through a text message, go in and change it now. If the service you're using doesn't have that option, send an email to their customer support, tell them that we need another option there. And hopefully, Twitter will get this issue fixed because it's really a shame that they're dealing with this and had a company do this to them. I have to believe, I want to believe, I hope to believe that Twitter did not know that this company was doing this on their servers. But either way, they do at least give you another option for two-factor authentication. Stay away from text messages. That's the key. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you've switched to Bitwarden. You should. It's free. It's open source. They have third-party auditors come in to make sure their security standards are set up. Plus, it's open source. The whole community goes in and audits it as well. It is a brilliant product. Bitwarden.com slash deal and go check them out. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains.